What a chore. Even I can tell this is too much for me. But I can't afford to pull back now. against this mini is gonna be damn tough after all. I just hope Financier's group is doing all right. I can hear people screaming. <laughs> How nice. No matter where they run, it's no use. There's no way they'll be saved when even the hunters who are supposed to protect them have all fled. They'll realize who's been helping them all this time. They're fading away, lying in a small pool of their own blood. <laughs> it's overflowing more and more. More delusionary monsters will be born. I don't care what happens. Lady Sisha! That voice. Montier? Thank goodness you're all right. The guards were gone, so I thought you might have been moved. Do you have business with me? I beg of you, Lady Sisha. Please, help Lady Blonde. Help Blonny? I don't get what you mean. Lady Blonde is currently fighting alone against the horde of monsters approaching the city. She is? Why is she doing something so useless? She could flee and save her life if she wants. Lady Sisha? I won't help. Why do I have to fight in order to protect the city's inhabitants? What's wrong, Lady Sisha? To say such a thing. I have no intention of fighting for the people of this city. Everyone can fall prey to the monsters for all I care. It'll serve them right. All those idiots who don't understand just who fought for them. Protected each one of them. Why were you fighting until now, Lady Sisha? Weren't you fighting because you loved this beautiful nation of Louis? If you love Louis, then that must mean you love her cities and all of her people there. It's true that I did love Louis. But no matter how much I did, I... Have you properly conveyed your love? If you don't properly voice your feelings, how can other people understand? I think it's fine if your feelings of fighting for someone only goes one way. Even if it's a one-sided display at first, one day, they'll come to understand you soon. I truly believe it. Do you think they'll really understand? Yes, I'm sure. If I apologize, will everyone forgive me? If you properly apologize, they'll forgive you. I know it. 
This is Louis, after all. It's a magical fairy tale nation, a wonderful and relaxed place. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Blani has said the same thing before. What was I even troubled over? Her love for this nation is so much greater than mine. I can't even compare. Yet, even though she was put on a wanted list and chased by the citizens, she still risks her life and fights for them. All I did was end up hating and cursing the citizens over something so small. I really am an idiot, aren't I? Lady Sisha, will you help us? Of course. I won't let anyone destroy this city that I love. You jackasses just keep on coming. But I have my own will to live. I can go anytime. This is bad. At this rate, I might not make it. Ah, now you just sound pathetic. This voice! Hey there, Blani. Seesha? Didn't you get caught? The Nancier came to save me. Well, I'll tell you about all that later. Right now, we need to get this mess sorted out. so smart even though you just got here weren't you in a cell though can you just jump in so soon who do you think i am i'm the hunter no i'm one of the gold third seesha
look like you have My good turn. materials. Come on! Oh, Enemy sighted. Let's do this stylishly. and be a family man. Not bad. Don't get caught! Ha! You small fry. Let's do this stylishly. Jackpot! Let's head home and eat dinner. I feel like I could eat ten servings of everything right now. many has it been now? I stopped counting about halfway. I can keep going. I want to say that at least, but I can't. My body's heavy. Looks like it's the end here. Thanks for everything, Blani. It's been real fun. What are you giving up for? We bought time, now we can escape. You say that even though you had no intention of running away from the start. I knew from the start that, as a CPU, you'd never seriously use a strategy that would abandon the city. Of course, there's no way I'm gonna let any more of my cities be destroyed. Feel the same way. Let's show them the inner strength of the golden pair. Don't use that stupid freaking name! Wait, what's this noise? Huh? You're right. What is it? Footsteps? from the guild. Didn't they run away? Lun! Sisha! Are you alright? We came to save you guys! Ram? And Rom too? Lun! You're really hurt! I'll heal you right now! Wait, before you do that, what's going on? Oh, you two are alright. I'm so glad. Financier, you're here too? Me and Rom and Financier and the woman from the guild brought back all of the hunters. They told us that the Golden Pair was taking on the horde of monsters. We couldn't flee like pathetic wimps when two girls were out here still fighting a good fight. Whoa, well, we'll let you think us later. Right now we have to clean this up. Come on, you guys. Don't let any of those monsters out alive. They can't mess with our city! Yeah! Huh. What do you think, Lady Sisha? The people of this nation are really something, aren't they? Yeah, you're totally right. I'm embarrassed myself that I ever hated them. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Sisha! Blani, I was late in telling you this, but I'm sorry for keeping quiet about things.
don't have to apologize. You weren't trying to trick me, right? Besides, I should apologize for letting Asnalev trick me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize either. Everything is Asnaleb's fault. Thanks. It helps to hear you actually say that. Let's be friends again, Bonnie. Yeah, you bet. It looks like you two have made up. Friendship is a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a waste for the golden pair to break up. Okay, I know we're friends now, and that's nice. Can you change that stupid-ass name already? Oh, jeez, here we go. That's fine, isn't it? Whatever, let's go. The Golden Pair has one more difficult job to do. on hunting. I'll be the one to end this. Are you ready?
a chore. It looks like the city hasn't been damaged. Thank goodness. We all work together to protect it, so I guess it makes sense. Oh? Why, if it isn't the prisoner and the wanted criminal over there. Asnaleb, where have you been hiding? Where? Why are you acting like that? You were the very first one to run away. I do not know what you're implying. Besides, who would believe words from a prisoner? <sighs> this jerk. Now, hunters, capture these criminals. <clears throat> well, why won't anyone capture them? They're the ones responsible for tarnishing Louis's fine name. That's not true. At the least, Lady Blonde and the others love this city more than you, coward. What are you saying, financier? There's no existing evidence that I ran away. I'll testify to that then. What? You? Asnoleb said it didn't matter if this was destroyed or if the people left or not as long as he was safe. What? No way. He ran away and left us all here to fend for ourselves? What kind of man is that? It's nonsense. This man is an associate of those criminals. He's the one who arranged for Blonde to be placed on the wanted list. You scum. Sir Asnalev tried to execute Lady Blonde and Lady Sisha, all for his own greed. Those two were innocent. Silence. Who do you think I am? The god who created the license system. What? You must have a pretty deep connection with the nation if you knew that I was the ruler of Louis. Putting aside whether you created the system or not, there's a high chance you know who did. You... you must be joking! Now, now, why don't you let us hear your side of the story? Hmm, Mr. As... There are things we'd like to... ask you. We'll have you come along. Quietly. This is ridiculous. Let go of me! You ordinary weak people can't do anything without my guidance or management. You need to let yourself be controlled by me, for the sake of your happiness. What's so good about Louis being ruled by a girl who looks middle-aged? Oh, the horror. Don't give me that shit! <laughs> you hit me! Even my own father never hit me. Oh, how dare you punch my face with a fist, even? Yeah, I punched you. So freaking what? And the citizens of Louis aren't weak. They don't need your damned oversight. Yeah. You heard the lady. We don't need you, so get to walking already. <sighs> you look really refreshed. <laughs> I feel pretty good after seeing all that. I guess it's my turn next. Watch me, Blonnie. Sisha? Hey! Are you all listening? My name is Sisha, and I'm the Gold Third ruling over Louis. Because I was a coward, I let that idiot have his way with Louis. And I sincerely apologize. This isn't your fault. You aren't responsible for Asna Leb's own stupidity. Even still, I'm at fault. I'm the leader, yet I neglected my duty and became a hunter, wandering around the nation. If I had been more responsible, this never would have happened. So, I have a favor to ask all of you. I ask that you will accept me as your leader. What? Accept you? You were Louise Gold Third? I know that she rarely shows herself, but I never expected the leader to look like some kid. I know that I'm not very reliable. I love Louis, so please, let me protect the nation I love. Mm. I guess they won't accept me after all. Of course it wouldn't be so convenient. I think it sounds all right with me. Hmm? I'm fine with it too. Anyone who boldly loves Louis is a good person in my book. You risked your life to protect this city. I can leave this nation to someone like you. Is it really okay? They're saying it's fine, so it's fine, isn't it? Financier! What are you doing? They're all right with leaving things to you, so you have something to say, right? Right. I may be a little unreliable, and I can get lazy at times. 
but I'll do my best for Louis. So let's all make this place into a wonderful nation. Is this okay, Blonde? It's fine for now. I don't want to destroy this piece by trying to force them to remember. Louis has to make some changes for it to rise above this dystopia it's been in for a while. It's best to let Sisha run things right now. What are you doing over there, Blonnie? Come over here. Hey, don't pull me like that. You're the star here, not me. You and I are both stars. Hey, so, I was thinking about having you be a secretary at the Basilicom. Are you just deciding my job without permission? I thought we were over that. I'm not doing it. Oh, come on, we're a pair. We're in this together. That's separate from what you're talking about. It's better for someone who understands the situation to do it. Besides, this is an order from the omnipotent Gold Third. Hey, don't start talking like that, you jackass. That's freaking low and dirty. Lady Blonde and Lady Sisha really get along. Don't joke with me, Sisha. Let me go! It's quite the happily ever after. Yep! Uh-huh! It ain't happy at all! Just like Blonde said, nothing's happy at all. This is just the beginning, in reality. Now, Sisha, it's time to awaken as a vessel. <sighs> Sisha, what's wrong? <laughs> That's right. I had completely forgotten about this. Guess it won't let things end peacefully. You suppress the delusionary power too much. To think your actions to protect this nation's people would backfire like this. I don't know who you are. Are you the mastermind? All you need to know is that I'm taking control of your body. I'm looking forward to what this golden power of yours is like. So that's your objective? But there are things I need to do. I won't let you. Sorry, Blonnie, but I have business that I need to take care of. Can you wait for me a little bit? Huh? Sisha? Where are you going? Sisha!
all right. Looks like you've decided. <laughs>